Good day. Today I'm going to explain you about VLAN tagging over the access port. I already have the configuration in my GNS3. Um, I'm using two PCs and two switches. This is switch one and uh, switch two. Okay. And I have two PCs, uh, PC1 and PC2 with IP address 1.1 .1, um, over VLAN 10 and IP address 1.2 over VLAN 20. And in switch one, GI 0-0 and 0-1 is um, I'm using as an access port uh, over the VLAN uh, 10. And in switch two, I'm using uh, 0 and 1 as um, uh, access port and VLAN 20. Let me quickly show you how to configure um, uh, access port VLAN 10. All right, I'm going to configure it in switch one. Uh, interface GI zero slash one. Okay, switch port mode access, access, switch port mode access, then switch port access VLAN 10. That's all. So you need to replicate the same, config, uh, same configuration in all other ports. I have already done that. Now, what I'm going to show is, uh, let me put a question to you. Do you think from 1.1 it will be able to communicate with 1.2? Yes, it will be able to communicate even though these are in two different VLAN. Let me uh, conclude that 192, 168, 1.2. Mm. Okay. So it's, it's responding, right? So how things are working? Let me explain how things are working. When a packet is entering in a GI 0 slash 0 port on switch 1, what happens is it will add a VLAN tagging of 10 in the frame. It gets encapsulated with VLAN 10 information and it will broadcast to all the ports and that broadcast packet, uh, will, uh, you know, even uh, that packet will, that frame will receive over the port GI 0 slash 1 on switch 1 okay so when it when the frame leave the leave the switch what happens over the access port is that it will remove the vlan tagging information okay that means when if when that frame is traveling over this wire it won't have any vlan tagging information so by the time when it reaches this port over switch to gi0/0 what happens is it will add the vlan tagging information okay it will add vlan tag 20 and it will broadcast to all the ports which is having VLAN 20 information. Thus, it receives uh, thus it receive uh, uh, switch to GI 0 slash 1 port also. And when it leave that port, it will remove the VLAN tag information. Uh, so this PC won't be even uh, having the information of VLAN tag information. All right. That's the reason in this case it is working. Okay. Even though both are in two different VLAN. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my switch 1 GI 0 slash 1 as uh, Trunk port. Before making trunk port, let me let me show you in Wireshark, you know, um, uh, whether we have any VLAN tag information over the wire. Okay, it's responding. I'm capturing ICMP packet. Uh, okay, 1.1. See, I have in, in the frame level, I don't have any, any VLAN tag information, right? Source, destination, then type, that's all. I don't have any VLAN tag information here. Okay, now what I'm going to make is, I'm going to make this port as a trunk port. Okay, and allowing only uh, VLAN tagging um, 10. So, how do I make switch port mode trunk? Okay, switch port again trunk allowed VLAN 10. Do right. Sorry. Do right. Now, let's uh, test it whether it's working or not. See, it's not responding or it's not working, not responding, it's not working. That's the right word to use it. So what happens in this case is, as I said earlier, when it receive in switch one GI zero slash zero, it will add VLAN tagging. Okay. When, and, and it will broadcast to all the port and it receive this trunk port as well. GI zero slash zero, uh, one is a trunk port. It will receive that broadcast packet uh, over the trunk. But what does the difference between a trunk port and access port is in trunk port, it doesn't remove the VLAN tagging information. So in the wire, it should carry that information. Probably this is a access port and it is port 20. It may be, uh, I mean, access VLAN 20, it may be neglecting that. So in the wire, I should be able to see that uh, VLAN tagging information, right? So let's, uh, let's make sure we are able to see that VLAN tagging information over the wire. Uh -huh. 
okay okay it's sending an r packet right so let me capture that r packet this is our frame okay we have a destination mac address we have source mac address we have type type is 8021.q that is dot one q okay and inside the type what we have we have you know vlan tagging 10 so i hope things are clear to you now um, why things are not working possibly if you are putting this uh, port as a trunk port that is switch to uh, gi0 slash 0 as a um, trunk port and allowing vlan 10 what happens is it will broadcast to all the other ports but it won't broad but it won't broadcast to the port gi0 slash 1 over switch 2 because that port belongs to vlan 20 so vlan basically breaks the broadcast domain i hope things are clear to you if you have any question on this feel free to write it down i will be uh, happy to uh, give a feedback or answer thank you and have a wonderful day